Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, it's time for your reading for the beginning of May for this current year, y'all. Great. Some of you feel like you just don't want to manifest giving out your heart right now. That's fair. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as always. If you want a personal reading, hit me up down below in the description box. I got my email. I got my Facebook page. I got my Instagram. I'm probably going to start posting uh, little previews and clippets on my Instagram, so that way people are more aware when I post shit up. So, Let's see how that goes. Um, I'm also going to be having a live stream tonight where I'm going to be doing, like, soulmate reading and then if you guys want to stick around like you could ask me questions three questions thoughts because i already know how people will go with their questions they'll just keep going and going and going like if you open the door you know but that's just me. wanting to move forward cancer's card yes that is for you hey um but i'll start like seven eight o'clock eastern time eastern standard time because I live in the East Coast, which is way better than the West Coast, because at least it gets cold here. I can't stand fucking heat. Fuck that. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'd rather be cold than be too hot. Yeah, that's why I don't live in the West Coast. It gets too hot. Um, Ace of Swords. That's what you're wanting? The whammies. The Emperor. That is your fears and rejections right there. Princess of Swords reverse in the situation. Three of Pentacles reverse in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. And the Five of Cups as the catalyst as well as the final result. The beginning and the ending. What started and what shall end the cycle. So gather around, kids. We're going to find out what the beginning theme is, which is offers. Promising offers. Something very pregnant with great, great, great stability um possibly some secrets coming out but you are wanting clarity with the ace of swords so that's cool right good deal so let's see scorpios we got the chariot oh shit okay we got the chariot right here right could be cancer but it could also be you you're trying to move forward move ahead get past all the shit and i gotta say scorpios out of all the zodiac you're the ones who will leave and never look back because you're just like, uh-uh, no, definitely not. I'd be out. Like, you're, like, literally the first ones to be the ones to do that. Um, you're probably moving on from a Queen of Wands reverse. Usually Sagittarius because my rising sign is Sagittarius. Could also be Leo or Aries right here. Um, very demanding. Very uncaring. Very, like, I want this and I want this now. Willing to lie cheat steal to get what she wants willing to just say whatever willing to do whatever she wants her shit she wants it now she's not putting up with anyone's bullshit we got the eight princess of swords down here someone trying to confirm um their own biases i like to say i was just telling libra about this it's like someone's trying to look for something to verify what the fuck they believe so that they don't feel like they are wrong about something it's like someone's trying to justify what they're doing King of Wands. Oh, there is a pairing. Here's a pairing. This is literally like the first pairing I've picked up from the same deck all day. King of Wands. Usually Leo, but also Sagittarius or Aries. Someone's trying to find things to justify why this King of Wands is a bit of a brat brat. <laughs> what I gotta say is really interesting. Sorry, I was picking up my um, J-Rock impression because I, I I need to watch Trailer Park Boys again. I love that fucking show. Absolutely. But yeah, it's like someone wants to move away from a Queen of Wands and the situation is finding like bias justification for the King of Wands. This could, like, this could literally be the same person. It doesn't even have to be a pairing. I don't, but I don't feel like it isn't a pairing because of the two here, right? Ace of Swords right here. 
you're wanting clarity scorpios or someone's wanting clarity about you mind you we always welcome cross watchers and those who talk shit don't talk shit in my comments though because then like i'm just gonna talk shit to you ace of swords you want some clarity on this home environment where it looks like two people are happy but nobody knows what goes on in the home but them they're the only ones who really know you're wanting clarity in this whether there's an open door, whether there's ways of working things out. But down below is the Three of Pentacles reversed, which is just like, ah, uh, things aren't working out. You're kind of hanging on to these pentacles for your life instead of balancing yourself upon them like you're supposed to. You're not honing your skills, but you're letting your skills kind of like... How can I put that? When it comes to talents and stuff. It, it, like, you're not wasting your talents as much as you're just... It's like an artist who goes without drawing for years and years. And then getting upset because, like, um... They can't draw both eyeballs the exact same way. They gotta cover one up with hair. Because that is totally an artist thing. It is so hard to make both eyes look the same. I wonder out a way to explain it. Yeesh. I'm sorry, he deserves love. He's got his chin right here. And it's just like, oh my goodness, I miss pet sex. I miss pet sex. Yes. They're saying this. They're both up here, just chilling with me. Both of them just taking naps. It's great. Like, I can just be like over here. I can sit on the floor. I don't have to reach down for shit until tonight. It's nice. My little man caves, as my husband calls it. But yeah, it's like, like someone wasted their talents sitting on them and now it's just like they're frustrated because like their talents went to waste and now it's like they got to start over from fresh. Um, this could also mean there might have been a third party at work and it caused the breakup and now it just didn't work out the way they thought it would. At a crossroads with it, with the hanged man right here, right? It's like, this is... What, what's going against you right here is you're at a point where either you can let something go. It, it, it's the time to surrender. Something isn't working here. Something isn't helping you get to a position of growth and change. So you're at a crossroads. You can either stay here, you can go this direction, or you can go this direction. That's your position. you got to figure out what it is you want to surrender, though. That's the obstacle. That's how you'll get what you want with the clarity of this home environment, which is just kind of like, hmm. But I still don't know about the king and queen over here, because that's just like... Like, like, like... Hmm. Let's move on to the emperor and the fears and rejections, right? He is control, essentially. Power, authority, adaptivity, manipulations. Not of the bad kind, just being able to manipulate things to the way you want them to usually aries right so this person could be like either the king or the queen of wands or he could be both um tower usually the red is the one uh, it means the person who has the most power but they've already fallen this person over here is just like getting ready to fall it's like whoever is in control and authority has the power has yet to hit the ground and realize oh um the tower came down Truth hit me, smack in the face. They're about, like, they're at that verge right now where it's like the truth is about, they're about to hit their face on the concrete of Truth Street. Right in front of the building of I Told You So Tower. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Oh my god, that wind is actually really blowing in cold air. It's surprising. Um, Five of Cups right here. There are regrets. Someone feels like they're drowning in their emotions about those regrets. And that's why they're looking for information and spying with the page of... Yeah, page of swords. Okay. So this is what I got so far. Both of you, 
whoever is the person in control, the one in red, because this bitch over here is in red. It's like the lady is the controller of the house. She's probably the one trying to justify why she's acting a certain way, why she wants to move on, or maybe that's you justifying it. And over here, we got dude over here is in black, which oftentimes can represent death or dark things or whatever, because apparently black is terrible or some shit or whatever. I don't even fucking know. But this person who's dressed in black is on the side where... The person who's in control has already hit the tower, dropped the illusion, but this person has not. And now because they're in their emotions with the Five of Cups, is what they're looking for emotion. They are regretful with this emotion that they have now, so it's like they're on the hunt to look for information to find something. Um, they're really sad. Maybe they're regretful about this page of swords that's right here. While this other person is more along the lines of just kind of being like... I don't like you for this reason, and that's why I'm leaving while this other person still is under this um, illusion by the tower that maybe, just maybe, they can work things out. I think. I think that's what I'm seeing, Scorpios. I think, even still in the back of your mind, if it, it, like if you're not the one trying to get away from this motherfucker who will not let it go, you're the one who's not getting away from this motherfucker and letting it go. It's like you're afraid that, like, they're going to drop the tower on you and throw you out the fucking window right before they jump out themselves. Like they're setting up traps or something. Let's see. Yeah, ending theme is the Seven of Wands Reverse. Someone doesn't know how to get out of this bullshit so they can even make an offer. Damn. Nobody's probably coming up the hill. Yeah, I think that's him. Let's see here in a second. We're gonna see what the first cards are. He, it's probably him. He's been out for a couple hours now. Ooh, we got quite a few. Someone's holding back their strength because they really don't know what to do. Could be the Leo. Could be the Fire Sign. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. All overall. Who's being all, like, aggressive, being like, I, I, I just don't want to deal with you anymore, I almost feel like. Or this could be you if you got the fire in your chart and you're just like, fuck this, you know, like, just straight up. Because that's what you Scorpios do. Um, however, there's definitely a lack of clarity in what you're working on because you're not working towards anything, I think. And there's a lot of trauma from the past you're trying to get away from. Like, that's still kind of haunting you. Like, if something bad happened back in the day, and it's like... Hmm. I don't know, Scorpio. It just seems like... Either you're done with this relationship, and the person doesn't get it, and they're still coming back, and it's just kind of like... What do I have to do to get this through your head? I don't fucking want you. Um, you're making me talk more than what I want to, and you're and you're spilling shit on my really sexy dress. This is the nicest black dress I have, and you're starting to piss me off. Or this is the person being like this to you. It could be either or, honestly. Cross watchers. No, keep that in mind. But that was your Scorpio. I hope to see you guys for the live stream tonight. If not, it's all good. I'm not even really all that worried about it. Um, it's just going to be a soulmate thing, and then, like, I'll take questions after that. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully my laptop won't crash, because it's been doing that a lot, and it's pissing me off. Pray for me. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Take it easy, and I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.